Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. Last time we talked about the operational amplifier. Today we want to talk about different operating modes. Not all of them make sense, I know. However, I make just a list. What is, the, what are the operating modes? Well, one of the uh, simple modes, or ah, they're all simple. I'll just list them. Non-inverting mode. Okay, non-inverting mode. Non-inverting mode. How does this look like? Well, we have, we have our operational amplifier. Plus and minus. Here we have our output. Here, the input I will put on the positive side, yeah? and this one, the negative side, I will simply put to ground. All right, all right. So the UN is zero volt, yeah. UB equals UI, yeah, and here the UA is. K multiplied by UI, non-inverting mode, like an amplifier. Yeah? Then we have an inverting mode. Inverting mode. Here. I do it exactly the other way around. Okay, so actually it looks like exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. There's the output. One is ground. One is the input value. Yeah. But now I do following plus and minus. I switch plus and minus. Okay, so here you be. Positive voltage is zero volt. Yeah. UN equals UI. Yeah. And here we have here the UA. And UA is now minus K multiplied by UI. Mm -hmm. Inverted. It's inverting. Okay. Then we have the then we have the differential mode. Okay. Differential mode. Here I do have again my operational amplifier, plus and minus, I have here my output, uh, and now I have two inputs. Uh, I have here a positive, and here a negative voltage. Here is the UP, here is the UN. And here is UA, and this is K multiplied UP minus UN. Yeah. The differential, the differential voltage, differential mode. Okay. And then we also have the so-called common mode. What's the common mode? This is when both inputs share the same input voltage. So we have plus and minus. We have here Look at that what this is. We have a UI and we have a UA. This is zero volt because we have no difference. <laughs> which of which of this makes sense? Yeah. Well, the common mode does not seem to make sense. Yeah. The other modes might be possible, right? 
might I can we can think about things where we want to use this, we want to use this, and we want to use this. However, there are some properties, and we call an operational amplifier ideal if we meet some properties, some special properties. Yeah, one of these properties is that this k is as high as possible, and ideal would have a k unlimited. <laughs> What's up now? Unlimited, so this is, will always be. I will always be in overload. Yeah. What? But, 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 how does this make sense now? Yeah. This we are going to discuss in next video. Yeah? Next video we are going to discuss how an ideal operational amplifier is working, and we will see then why yeah how we can handle this <laughs> so for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye